Oregon fans have been completely spoiled at the quarterback position over the last decade or so, with guys such as Justin Herbert, Dennis Dixon, Marcus Mariota, and plenty of others, but now they've reached a point where they'll need a new guy. So who will it be? It'll come down to Boston College grad transfer Anthony Brown, or redshirt sophomore Tyler Shogue. I think Shogue honestly wins the job, and he is the future of Oregon football. And if somehow he doesn't, then some of the other four-star quarterback recruits they have on the roster will definitely be in line. Today we'll talk about Shogue and his story, his time at Oregon so far, and why he is so highly regarded. But be sure to stay until the end to hear why. Be sure to give the video a like, share it with your friends, and comment to help the video get in the algorithm so I can make more videos for you guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and love college football, and turn on notifications so you never miss another upload of mine. I love doing these Meet the Future videos, so be sure to suggest another Pac-12 quarterback I should do, as I will be doing a ton of those videos over the next few days. Now let's get started and meet the future of Oregon football, Tyler Shogue. He grew up in Chandler, Arizona, and loved football from a young age. There's not a whole lot about his childhood out there, but once he got to Chandler High School, he didn't initially play. He finally started as a junior, and he only put up 2,000 yards with an average of 177 yards per game. Those aren't exactly outstanding numbers compared to other top high school quarterbacks, but it was a decent start for him. He did hit the prestigious 3,000 yards in a season mark his senior year, where he put up 3,071 yards and drastically improved in every element of his game. He also went to the rival high school of Iowa State quarterback Brock Purdy. Shaw definitely had the size that everyone wanted, and he had offers from schools such as Oregon, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida State, Georgia, and Michigan, and plenty of others. He actually originally committed to North Carolina, but he was supposed to visit Oregon. He said going into that visit, it was convenient because he had family in Oregon and it was his bye week, so he just wanted to check it out low key. But he was still 100% committed to UNC at the time though. But as we all know now, he ended up backing out of that commitment, absolutely loved his Oregon visit, and flipped the Ducks. According to 24-7 Sports, Shogue was a 4-star prospect, the number 198 overall player, and the number 10 pro-style quarterback in the class of 2018. At Oregon, Shogue was not really utilized during his freshman year, as he did redshirt. He did take 8 snaps in 3 games, but he never actually made a pass. He's praised for the arm, and they credit that to him for sitting the past 2 years while he's been at Oregon. He's apparently matured a lot, and he is ready to handle the duties that go into being the starting quarterback at Oregon. In 2019, he actually took more snaps, as he totaled 144 yards and 3 touchdowns on just 15 passing attempts. Against USC, he is known for a block that he laid out on the final play of the game, and this is an element of swag that he possesses in his game. So far, it is a very small sample size, but those glimpses of the future, along from high praise from the Ducks coaching staff, have fans eager to see what Show can do for the Oregon offense in 2020. Coach Mario Cristobal said that Show entered the camp as the leader, and according to sources behind the scenes, the former four-star recruit has been living up to all expectations and would have to experience a complete meltdown in order to not win the starting job. And that says a lot considering Anthony Brown was a two-year starter at Boston College and is a senior. Tyler looked strong in doing what he was asked to do. He stood strong against pressure while delivering strikes just before he would get blasted. He escapes the pocket well and has made really good decisions with the football so far. A lot of people are saying he's going to add a big playability to the Oregon Ducks attack. I think he will do very well, as Joe Moorhead is now the offensive coordinator at Oregon. In case you guys don't know, Joe Moorhead was one of the top assistants in the country while he was at Penn State, and then took the head coaching job at Mississippi State, but after not living up to expectations, he was fired, and now Moorhead finds himself in Eugene. At 6'5", Shaug has all the physical tools in the world, but he needs to develop and work on his rushing game. He isn't the traditional dual threat guy Oregon fans are used to, so it'll definitely be interesting to see how it all pans out. He's apparently a really fun guy, the team loves him, and he has an element of swag which could be a lot of fun, compared to Herbert as he was more reserved and, and had more of a no-nonsense approach. Shogun has a lot of weapons and is one of the best running backs in the country in CJ Verdell, so he will definitely have time to get used to the system. I think he'll be really good, and outside of Keaton Slovis and Jaden Daniels, there's not a ton of good quarterbacks in the Pac-12 right now, and it's going to be really interesting to see who breaks out. I think Shogun has the potential to become elite very quickly, but he also has potential to get replaced, as guys such as Cale Millen and Jay Butterfield are behind him. Plus, I believe they're bringing in a high 4-star or low 5-star quarterback in the 2021 class as well. So let me know what you guys think. If you're an Oregon fan, are you buying into the hype of Shaug, or do you think he's overrated? And if you're just a general college football fan, what do you guys think? Also, be sure to let me know who I should do next. The Pac-12 has so many new faces at the quarterback position, so I'm going to try to do a ton of videos over the next week or two so you guys can get to know all of them. So let me know who I should do. Be sure to give the video a like, comment your thoughts, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It'll help the video do better, and it can help me make more videos. If you're still here, check out all my other Meet the Future videos. 
If you're still here, check out all my other Meet the Future videos, but until next time, peace.